There is no era in the history of mankind that shows the degeneration of the mouth as that which is happening in modern history. And this is what's happening. I will go from hunter-gatherer to this is current me, industrial me, and this is me if we continue along this trajectory. Why do most kids need braces today when our ancestors didn't have crooked teeth? As this has happened in the evolutionary blink of an eye, what I see every day, narrow dental arches, vaulted palates, the mouths hanging open, mouth breathing, and crooked teeth. This isn't just genetics, and it isn't just cosmetics. A shrinking mouth creates a shrinking airway, obstructive sleep apnea, every night roller coaster between suffocation, stress response, suffocation, stress response. When you combine this shrinking mouth with growing rates of obesity, you have a serious problem. So this is a scary sleep disorder. Dentists have a front row seat to see obesity in the mouth and the dire consequences of airway obstruction. Oral health problems are so universal that we think they are normal. So I got braces, I had headgear, a couple years later I had to get my wisdom teeth out. All of this totally normal these days. The most common disease in the world, dental cavities. So although we have normalized cavities today, they're not normal. These problems are common, but not normal. No other species have mouths with crooked, crowded, and impacted teeth. Teeth filled with holes and embedded in gums that bleed and in bone that's being eaten away. Mouths with a fatty tongue and a shrinking airway that gets blocked when we're trying to breathe when we sleep. Why do we have these problems? The mouth is the canary in the coal mine. It is the early warning system that is telling us when our diet is off. The mouth is telling us what to eat. And in this keynote, I translate what it's saying. It's our pleasure to introduce Dr. Kevin Stock.